guys, it's Clancy, and I know you're probably thinking, like, what? 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 I don't know what I just... Okay. What is she wearing? Why does she have glasses on? Why does she look like that? Okay, basically, today is just, like, today. It's actually nighttime, actually. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. I decided to stay home on this wonderful night. And just, I wanted to get all comfy, so I have my Hello Kitty onesie on. Yes, it's... Hey! <laughs> oh! Oh! Whoa. I decided to kind of just get comfy and film tonight, but, like, not, like, oh, let me get all ready and, like, oh, my gosh, like, wow. I don't know why I keep saying, like, but whatever. I decided to just go for the gold and be comfy and kind of just be how I normally would be on this night at this hour. I don't really know what I'm saying. And I decided to film a tag video that I saw some YouTubers do. And I was like, why not do this? But you know what? I feel like sometimes it's important just to come on here in my Hello Kitty pajama onesie feety pajamas and put my glasses on and be like, what's up? This is who I am. Because, you know, that's important too. You know, that's who I am also. Not just someone who gets ready all the time because... Sometimes I just want to sit at home and do nothing. So yes, yeah, so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. And I thought these questions were quite interesting, so I decided let's get started. But can I just say, every single tag that I've seen thus far, I swear, I feel like everyone answers the questions vastly different from what I would do. Like, just different ballparks and worlds. But let's just get into it. Number one, you have to get rid of all your foundations, and you can only keep one high-end and one drugstore. Which do you keep? For high end, that's easy, very easy for me. I would keep my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, which is very expensive. It's high end, okay, but there's also some high ends that aren't even that expensive. This is very expensive, but what you're getting is just amazingness in a bottle. I'm, I'm so serious when I say that. It makes your skin just look so wonderful, and like, it's very natural also. It's not just like a heavy type thing. So I mean, if your goal is to just pound it all, I don't know, I guess it's buildable, but Oh my gosh, this stuff is just amazing. And in case you're wondering, I'm in the shade Sand Beige. But oh my gosh, I love, 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 love this stuff. Oh, oh my gosh. For drugstore, I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, I've only used one drugstore foundation in my entire life. And I will tell you why. It's not just because, like, oh, drug, like, it's not, I'll tell you. But um, it's the CoverGirl True Blend foundation. The very first foundation I've I ever tried. I have about, I use about eight bottles of it. Like, I just kept using it. Um... But it's not that, like, I know I heard that, like, Revlon Drugstore Foundation is amazing, and there's so many wonderful things, but it's the fact that I can't try on the color is really what makes me not buy drugstore makeup, because even in Sephora, I mean, I pick up one, I'm like, oh, this seems like it'll be my color, and then I try it on, and I'm like, no, 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 and I'm like, good thing I, like, tried it on, so I feel like I just, I just can't do that with the drugstore, it's, that's not just really just sucks so that's why I never really get drugstore foundation I get drugstore mascara drugstore eyeliner drugs for yeah drugstore um, liquid liner and stuff like that but just for this I feel like it's so hard to pick my shade so but yeah so I guess like if I had to get any actually if I had to get it I would try out the Revlon but whatever this is just I just want to tell you this is the only one I've ever used it's kind of sentimental for me it's the first thing I ever tried in um, the summer before 10th grade number two you go for an interview, and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? Wow, okay. Every single person I've seen so far has said that they would ignore it completely. But I am a very, like, if I see something, I say something type person. And honestly, I feel like if she had lipstick on her teeth the entire time, I would just be looking at that, and it would just hinder me in my ways doing the interview and it would cost me my job because I would literally just be focusing on that the entire time. I'm the type of person where I will just tell someone like you have crap all over your face. I remember once in Ireland I was at the pub with my cousin and some random girl who I didn't know sat down next to me and like I kind of glanced at her and all of a sudden I'm like oh my gosh. I like tapped her and I like turned her to me. I'm like listen she had like um like eyeliner just like down like really far. It might have even been a look she was trying to do. I don't know. I was just like listen you have stuff everywhere and you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> like, but I said it, alright, I'm not gonna lie, looking back on it, like, I laughed because I didn't even say it that nicely, but I meant it nicely. But like, and she thanked me, she was like, oh, thank you so much, and I, or she was like, oh, thank you so much, like, in the accent, okay, that was bad. I was just like, goodbye. But, I'm so mad. That night, I did my vlog for Ireland, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, but, um, I had mascara, because it was raining that night, on my face. My cousin didn't tell me, like, what? That's just so 
wow, I wa washed it off in the bathroom. But it was just like, I was like, Jasmine, like, what were you thinking? Not telling me. Also, one time I was at a Sweet 16 a couple months ago, my, my neighbor's Sweet 16, some girl was like dancing and she had like toilet paper on her foot. No one would tell her. They're like, oh, that's so like awkward. I literally like marched up to her. When I say marched up to her, I mean like she kept like running away when she was like dancing. Like she didn't, not running away from me, but like I literally just, like chased her down, flagged her down, tapped her on the back. And I was like, you have toilet paper on your foot. And she was like, oh my gosh. And like, she was like really actually awkward about it. She's like, oh my god, thank you so much. And she like ran away. Like, it was like, I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. But yeah, it was funny. So I would literally tell the interviewer, like, I feel like I could bond over it. It would almost kind of help me. I could be like, oh my god, you have a little lipstick on your tooth. And she'd be like, oh my gosh. I'd be like, yeah, no, have it to the best of us. Like, it would, we would just click. Three, you're not feeling yourself and need to pick me up. Which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? This is interesting because I actually would put on none. I personally feel like when I look bad, I don't want any lipstick on it. That maybe sounds weird, but like, I don't know. I remember one night in college, I say that as if I'm out of college right now, but like, you know, a few months ago, um, my friends, um, I don't know, why did I just say the word my friends? I wasn't, <laughs> okay. I, where am I going with this? I got ready and I just looked terrible. And my friends and I all decided to wear red lipstick that night. I put it on, I was like, I just feel disgusting. I took it off and immediately I felt so much better. Um, I just feel like I, when I don't look good, I don't want to go with a bold lip because then it makes me look more, no, like, noticeable. I stand out more. Whereas if I don't look so good, you know, I just don't do anything with lips at all. And then it's like I kind of just blend them with the crowd, you know what I mean? So I personally would just put on some chapstick and go out the door. But my go-to lipstick is Creme de Cup by MAC. It's so sad, though. Look at this, all right? Looks beautiful, 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 beautiful. Not beautiful! This is how much I have left. AK nothing. It smells really good. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. I need to get another. I love that. Four, you go back in time for a day to your teenage years. How would you do your hair and makeup differently? Well, this is awkward because I'm a teenager now, but um, if I were to go back in time, though, in general, there are a lot of things I would change. Oh my gosh, first of all, I used to wear this, like, powder from CoverGirl. It was way too dark. It looked, made me look orange. Mind you, I wouldn't even blend it with my neck. Oh my gosh, change that. I also plucked my eyebrows way too much freshman year. Oh my gosh, it was looked terrible. I would change that. Um, hair? I actually don't even think I would change hair. I really wouldn't. I think I wore my hair fine. Um, it's just makeup. I would wear a lot of bottom eyeliner, and I'll still do that in college sometimes, but I don't know. Ugh. Oh, man. I was just... I was a monster with the makeup, you know? Because I feel like when you're first experimenting, you have to, but... Oh, my gosh. Those are the two biggest things, though. Ugh. Five, you ask your hairdresser for a shoulder-length pixie lot haircut, but they hear you wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you A, smile, say thank you, leave, and call your mom hysterically crying? I just said mom because, like, she spelled it, I guess this tag, they spelled it M-U-M, but, like, I'm from America, so I will say mom. I don't know why I even said mom. Okay, mom. B, cry in the chair and things get awkward, or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund. Now, I would actually pick A, um... Smile, say thank you, leave and call your mom hysterical. Because that's actually kind of happened to me before, but I'll explain in a second. But because I would just feel... Oh, there my headband is. I had no idea. I didn't know it was hard. I would just feel so awkward. Because, like, I have gotten really bad haircuts before. If you saw my video where I was freaking out, it's labeled how to deal with a bad haircut. I'm wearing, like, a hood and... Oh, it's just really bad. Um, I was so sad. I had my hair down to my belly button. It was past my belly button. And I asked the hairdresser, you know for like a trim. It got cut about here. That's not even funny, okay? Um, but I wasn't about to yell at the hairdresser because I just feel like, I just felt bad. Like, I mean, like, she thought she, she's like, oh my god, like, I love it. Like, I just feel awkward with that type of thing just because it's like, I don't know, you tried your heart. I don't know. But for that, and so I really honestly would be like, oh, thank you, and then leave, and then get really upset once I leave. Like, the second I leave that haircutting place is the second I'm like, ah! Six, your friend surprises you with a four-day city break, and you have one hour to pack. Which do-it-all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? Wow, I actually don't have any, like, do-it-all palettes, as in, like, um... I don't have any, like, blushes. Like, everything's separate. I have my eyeshadow palettes. Then I have my, like, blush palette. Like, you know what I mean? So, but I guess if we're sticking with eyes, I would probably pack one of my naked palettes. Um, I'd say I'd pack the... Ooh, as of which one? That's a hard one. 
I'd say naked too. I might pack naked too. Just at this moment, I'm feeling naked too. I change my mind about all the naked palettes every second though. I like them all. Seven, your house has been robbed, but don't worry, everyone is safe. Don't even worry, don't worry. But your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? Ooh. I would say my, my Naked One palette. I just feel like it's so sentimental. Like, I remember getting that and being so happy. I was like, uh, okay. I was like, oh, my Naked palette. Like, I was so happy, so I feel like I want that to be just safe and intact and a-okay. Eight, your friend borrows your makeup and returns in an awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to some of theirs? So I definitely went to C, just because that's not helping anyone. And then A, no. Everyone, everyone I saw answered A, but no. I would, I would, like, yell at them. Like, I, like, like, I don't know why anyone would pretend they didn't notice it. If my friend borrowed my, my naked palette, my naked, well, I meant to say makeup, but I guess it was my naked palette, and all the shadows were cracked and disgusting, I would literally march up to them, even if they were in, like, Switzerland, I would march up to Switzerland and knock on the door and be like, what is the meaning of this? Especially if they didn't have the decency to tell me, like, what happened, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, I would be so mad. Like, what are you doing? Like, who do you think you are? Oh my gosh, the thought of it actually just makes me so mad. But anyway, that's that concludes this little tag video. I feel like my um, inner anger got at, kind of out of this. I don't know. But I'm going to go because it feels like I'm going to throw up right now. I don't know why or what. I just feel like I'm going to throw up, but that's okay, I guess. I don't know. I, maybe it's not okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to go. Yeah, like I said. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I just, whoa, hair. Why do I feel like I'm gonna throw up? Hey, hello. Actually, the heck? And number one, you have to get rid of. Oh, okay. You give me all. You approach the subject or, or, meh. I can't remember to get you. Five, your hairdresser. Your hair, you, oh, okay.